That may be all right for some people, but not for me. All that pious stuff. I can't go for it. I couldn't either at first. But believe it or not, Fred, it works. I was in a lot worse shape than you are when Alcoholics Anonymous got hold of me. Well, anyway, I'm not that badly off. All I need is a little shot now and then. I can stop any time I really want to. You can? Then why haven't you stopped? Because you can't and you know it. Fred, you're ruining your whole life. All right, all right. Maybe I have got to have the stuff. Yes, I've got to. I can't help it. So what? Okay. Once you admit that, then we can begin to help you. If you'll let us. Do you want to get well? Well, what would I have to do? If a new member of AA is in bad enough shape, he begins his treatment in the hospital, where he is built up by rest and vitamin therapy. During this process, old AA members, working in pairs, with the more experienced guiding the less experienced, give him constant encouragement. All through his ordeal, the new member finds strong support in the company of the others. Here is a social group of which he can feel a part. And whatever his problem, others show how they have conquered theirs. Ten years ago, the doctors all gave me up. Said liquor was killing me. Said I didn't have the courage to stop drinking. Well, I didn't. Until AA helped me get the courage. I've been dry for ten years now. Any of you can do as much if you want, because you got 24,000 of us behind you. I began drinking after an illness. I lost my husband, my job, everything I had. Then I heard about AA. Well, I haven't had a drink since. Hope blossomed into faith, and the combination of hope and faith led to that eventual miracle which AA provides, sobriety. I don't know whether I'm happy because I don't drink or I don't drink because I'm happy. You figure it out. AA stands ready to help each and every one of you stop drinking. We did it. We'll help you do it. We'll close the meeting in the usual way.